The final score is amazing. When I look at the final score, I see engineering, craftsmanship, and detail. The perfect score was a three-time Lowrider Magazine show winner. And on our third title, uh, Coming Home, we were cut off and we got swiped over onto the embankment and the, the car was totaled. All the club members came over and they all said, Chris, you need to come out and do something to honor the perfect score. Out of the ashes of tragedy came a new lowrider destined to make history. That's when the final score was born in honor of the perfect score. My car's name is the final score. It is a 58 Impala Chevrolet. When I look at the final score, I see engineering, craftsmanship, and detail. For all of the fame of his original lowrider, Chris's fans weren't immediately approving of his new build. A lot of people didn't take fair to it when it first came out. They were like, what, what is this? This, this isn't, doesn't look good. What, what are the colors they're mixing? But a couple years it went by and now you start to see a lot of people starting to entertain all these different colors. This impressive lowrider is customized in every way possible. So we got right here a custom mural. We have our car club plaque here, fully engraved. So as we go through the car, we'll make our way to the interior now. Door handles were shaved, so we have pop doors. Ostrich skin in here with our custom logo engraved in the badges. Custom steering wheel here with the custom machined Impala emblem and flags. All our knobs match and they're all gold leaf. Custom floor mats if you look and the custom pet gas pedals and speaker covers. Dakota Digital Dash, which was, what was that, a custom piece, I believe. Even the motor was customized. The motor of the final score is an LS1 that came out of a mid-80s uh, Corvette. Uh, the whole engine's engraved to match, painted to match, pinstripe everything matches the rest of the car. There's so much custom parts on this. I, I want to say, what were we up to last time when we counted? Like probably close to 600 custom machine parts in this car alone. Top speed, easily probably 120 MPH. Having left behind the shadow of the perfect score, this low rider now has no shortage of fans. This gets everyone's heads turning when it comes out. So, you know, if you go into a busy area, it's gonna grab a lot of attention. But with a car called the final score, one has to ask, is this the final low rider Chris will build? When would I ever stop building low riders? I think I have tried to stop. It's been tough as you get older, you, you slow down. I have my, my son and my nephew that are young guns and they, they've been keeping the fire under me to keep me going. My favorite part of a lowrider is when you can get in it, go and drive, put the top down, just have fun. And they're different, they're unique. Not everyone likes lowriders, but everyone has their own different tastes. And I just like the feel to be behind the wheel or I like the feel of the creation of building something that's unique like this. 